So the regular season ends. And playoffs begin tomorrow. For the 2023-24 season. I finished with a 168-104 to record. Which, I gotta say, it was pretty much my best year. I finished with plus 64. The Ravens pretty much played this game as a no one get hurt, come out healthy. Steelers play like we need to win. So, it was a monsoon game too. Honestly, it was nasty all around. Fumbles galore. And one splash play, as usual, for the Steelers. This game had the potential to go into overtime if it wasn't for it. Oh well, what you gonna do? Texans won because the Colts decided to put in a different running back to Jonathan Taylor or Zach Moss on fourth and one. Honestly speaking, if they didn't take their time moving the ball to the when they got to the point of that fourth down, maybe they could have caught a better play call. Texans are going to the playoffs with a first year coach and a rookie quarterback. That's amazing. The Bengals did their thing, obviously. Look, the Browns are pretty much in the same boat as the Ravens. <laughs> they pretty much just didn't want to come out with injuries. Hey, they didn't get shut out. That's all that matters. I probably should have done the same thing for the Ravens, knowing full well that we would be resting our people. But, hey, what you going to do? The Jacks choked. Who would have thought they would lose that many games in a row? Titans went in there and they just absolutely got. And the worst part about it is this the Jags had an opportunity to come back. But then they decided to go for it on fourth and one. I mean fourth and goal. And their QB sneak efforts failed. Like, I don't know. If they were within the half yard mark, sure, but he was a full yard out. There's no, I honestly thought he was going to fumble the ball right there. I mean, it was a turnover on downs anyway, but Jacks choked it. And just like the Chargers, they're pretty much once playoff year, that's it. You know, <laughs> South might be CJ Strouds now. <laughs> Who knows with Anthony Richardson and if he's good to go next year. Just did their thing. I didn't even know they had a um, losing streak to the Patriots. I just knew that any Patriots quarterback would not have done anything against the Jets. I also didn't know it was snowing. It was like, a, it was 9-3 to three until uh, Bryce Hall got that touchdown and they got two points. That's not 17-3. But, you know. I would say hope for the Jets next year, but I don't care. They're going to have to deal with that drama with Aaron Rodgers for the entire offseason and then go another year with him. Mm. The Lions, they try to get the second seed, but it didn't matter because the Cowboys ended up winning their game against the Commanders. And they ended up losing Sam Laporta for who knows how long. The Vikings... Mm. Is it a different story if Cousins and Jefferson don't get hurt with Cousins being gone for the season? Who knows? But the Vikings had their shot, and they 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 squandered it. Especially when you think back to that Bengals game, and you decided to do a QB sneak on third and fourth and one. Mm, makes no sense. The Saints. Pretty much did a lot of people favors by beating the Falcons. They eliminated them from playoff contention. They got their head coach fired like a minute into the new day. And they embarrassed them while doing it. People were upset about, you know, that last that last minute touchdown, but honestly speaking, I don't I, I people are really getting too upset about it. It's the last game of the season against a division rival. Oh, they're in victory formation. Who cares? The first two points overrode the 
the third. And the guy hadn't gotten a touchdown all season, and he was a touchdown leader last year? Yeah. Yeah, I would have done the same. The head coach for the Saints, he's a pussy. Apologizing like that. Man, whatever. Ain't no karma against division rivals. Especially when, you know, he thought you had a chance to get into the playoffs with the Buccaneers playing the Panthers, who... Uh, it's kind of sad that they won by just scoring nine points, but it's even sadder that the Panthers couldn't score, period. I don't know what's going on with the Panthers. I think they fired their head coach. I'm not sure. I wasn't paying attention to it. Bryce Young pretty much got fed to the wolves all season. I'm surprised they let him go all season. But... Buccaneers are going to the playoffs. They'll be hosting a playoff game. The Eagles, <laughs> they'll be hosting the Eagles, who thought they had a chance to get the division back from the Cowboys, who were playing the freaking Commanders. But they haven't been they haven't been the same since December started, and they're looking to be. I mean, the Giants, the Giants did their thing. Had I had I known that the Eagles would drop a game like that, I would have picked them. And now Jalen Hurts is hurt, and AJ Brown might not be able to get, not may, may not be good to go. Mm. Chiefs rested their guys, played their B team, and almost lost the Chargers. Congrats on you know Chris Jones getting his sack incentive. But you almost lost to the Chargers using your B team. And the Chargers, <laughs> you, you got to be kidding me. That was, that was, I, I, heard, I, saw, I heard someone say, like, of all the teams locked into a playoff spot, the Chiefs were the only team that won their last game. And I'm like, I don't think that's something you should be happy about. They couldn't move up or move down. And they almost lost to the Chargers. Come on now. This game between the Rams and the 49ers could have gone out of the way, but the Rams wanted it more because they could get into the playoffs. And I'm not too upset about that. The Packers did their thing, beat the Bears. They're going to the playoffs. Jordan Love, he's doing his thing. And they had their ups and downs, and they were able to secure a playoff spot. And Jordan Love, man, I called it. Just give him some time and he'll do something for you. The Raiders did their thing against the Broncos and they better keep Antonio Pierce for the head coaching job. If they didn't lose, if they didn't drop a game or two when they when he took over, they could have possibly won the division or get a playoff spot themselves. That would have been a good story. But I guess they don't want to see the Raiders in the playoffs. And they don't want to see Patrick Mahomes have a bad time. <laughs> the Seahawks, their efforts were in vain against the Cardinals. Yeah, they won, especially since the Cardinals missed the last second field goal. But um, you dropped the game yourself that you shouldn't have dropped in it earlier, like the Steelers game. Don't know how you dropped that. That's the reason why the Seals are in, and they're not. The Cowboys did their thing, obviously, against the Commanders. Um, honestly speaking, I don't know why Dak was even in there for that long. But hey, do you patch your stats against a team that just wants to get out of this, get out of the season? Ron Vera's gone, and congrats, Cowboys! You won the division. You get to host a playoff game at home for possibly two weeks. The Bills did their thing against the Dolphins, who choked the division away. Unbelievable. You had the opportunity to play a playoff game at home in Miami without having to worry about the winter weather. Now you have to go somewhere with winter weather. 
Congrats. You played yourself. So, now I got to find out how to set up a playoff bracket. So, let's see what we got here. With the Ravens on the bye week, they'll play the lowest million seed. So, we look at this and it's like, okay. First off, we have the Texans versus the Browns. Whoop, go back. Now, Texans have CJ Straw back. Browns have Joe Flacco, who was on fire to end the season. He rested one game. Stroud is hot. I'm going with the Texans. The Chiefs and Dolphins game, oh my gosh, is going to be playing in a game with a negative wind chill. I think I last saw 23 degrees below zero. Some people are saying 30. This is not a safe game. People are going to get hurt. And I hate to say that. Uh, stay warm. Anyone that goes to this game, man. Uh, uh, honestly speaking, all these outdoor t stadiums need to have heated seats. Like, they need to. But they're met Like, some of them are metal or plastic. But the Chiefs should have this game. Dolphins aren't good. They, they, drop, they drop the game to Titans and they drop the game to the Bills. That's why they're on the road. This is going to come back to bite them. It's not, it's not going to. It's no. With the Bills and the Steelers, uh, it, it looks like the Bills cut a stretch. The Steelers, I mean, the game's going to be windy. Of course it is. It's Buffalo. That stadium is just a absolute. Uh, it's just absolute mess when it comes down to the wind. So pass, deep passes are going to be a problem, and field goal is going to be a problem. I think this plays into the Steelers' hands. So, yeah, that's going to be my pick. Now the 49ers are on a bye, so we got the Buccaneers and the Eagles. Buccaneers. The Eagles are not going to get this. As so long as Baker Mayfield comes to play and they do their thing on defense, they're good. AJ Brown's probably out. They, yeah, they got it. The Lions haven't won a playoff game since the 90s. Everyone else has won a playoff game since the 2000s started. Lions, please join us in the 21st century. Okay. Congrats to the Packers and everything, but the Cowboys have not lost at home, and the closest team to do so was the Lions, who are going to probably want that run back. So I'm going to give it to the Cowboys. Steelers are too full of themselves. I got to make the brackets now. Crap. Uh, so I got the Ravens being the Steelers. With the... Texans being the Chiefs. The 49ers beat the Buccaneers. The Lions get their run back. Ravens. Lions. <laughs> Ravens. <laughs> So, how many total points have been scored in the playoffs? Hmm. It's going to be a low scoring game for the most part. And, and uh, Chiefs, Dolphins, and Bill Steelers. And then, let's go 150. No. Those are my. Those are my picks. I don't know if this is the official way to do it. But that's how I'm going to set my bracket up. I'm locked in. Oh, I can create another one. If there is an alternative, I still don't see the... The way the script has been going, they want the Browns to play the Ravens. Still think the Buccaneers are going to do it. No, no. Still the Lions. Okay. 
So those are my, that's my, those are my brackets. I'm locked in. <laughs>